stage. Right, so, hey guys, it's me from Ace Tech Gaming HD, and before I kick this video off, I just want to tell you guys that there has been a massive change to the channel. As you may uh, know that the channel name has changed from Project 3 to Ace Tech Gaming HD. Uh, yeah, we changed it because, what the hell was Project 3 anyway? It's a nonsense name, I don't even know how we came up with it, so yeah. It's 2015, which means there's a fresh start to the channel. It's going to be awesome, you guys are going to love what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, so I've just recorded some FIFA 15 career mode. Yeah, I've finished the preseason. I won't tell you the scores, so you can watch it. And make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Share the channel. Share the videos. Favorite them. Tell the people what we are all about. And make sure you watch the previous videos. I think I did a display picture speed art. If you guys want to know how I create the arts on the channel. Yep, so let's kick this video off and today is going to be my network setup tour. Yes, this has been very, very hard to set up and I just wanted to show you guys what I've been through. So let's start from this cupboard. Basically, I've dedicated an entire cupboard to be my cable management home system hub which makes no sense. So we have my switch with all the ports, well four ports um, filled up. I'm gonna add another one for my laptop today. And then I got the home plug over there. It says on networks. Focus. Okay, yeah. That's my 500 megabits. Megabit second. Um, home plug, so I get Ethernet through the mains instead of wirelessly, which increases the download speed and upload speed so yeah so that's just chilling over there and then we have all my cables for my monitors for my laptop for this PC for my printer for all the other electronics in this room just sit around here and yeah there's going to be an unboxing tomorrow tomorrow's video it's going to be the media share of a beta uh, wireless hard drive a wireless enclosure yeah, so make sure you check that out and over here is my beast this is the hate well it's a HTPC and it's a server so it's a Medion Core i3 Windows 7 2 GB RAM yeah rocking no it's not Windows 7 it's rocking it Windows 8.1 upgraded professional version so over here is my 500 GB external hard drive with rubber on it so my LEDs don't flash all night long. Yeah, so that hard drive is actually, um, what is it? It's my movie hard drive. So all my movies are stored on it and I'll show you, I'll open up my PC and I'll show you all the rest of the hard drives. But before I do that, I'll show you my printer. So, so let me just close this cupboard. It's an Epson printer, Wi Fi. Wi-Fi edition. It's the Epson XP225 Expression Home of Wi-Fi built-in. It's a wireless, a wireless, not hard drive, wireless printer. And I'll show you something cool about it. If I lift that up, it brings up this entire section, and the inks are there. And you can actually watch it print, which is so sad. Alright, I'll show you the inside of my PC over there and I'll show you what hard drives store what and what's what. So this is inside of the PC. I recently put some new parts in to adapt to my requirements, if you like. So um, there you can see my two hard drives. And before I go in depth, I just want to tell you guys what software I'm using to run this beast because you might be wondering so for my VPN if you don't know what that means it's a virtual private network which means a direct tunnel the trafficking tunnel is directly to my home network so if I'm 
in a public place, I turn my VPN on, they can't see if I'm connected to them, but I am, and all my traffic goes straight to this network. So it basically hides your your device or your connection to the internet to a specific SSID and makes it into this one. So I can access all my files and all my computers on this network from anywhere in the world. So it's going to be like I'm I'm just that I'm at home and I'm on the network but I can do that anywhere in the world and I can it's really good for downloading torrents or maintenance away from home. Yep, and also I'm using Plex as a media server. So I can access all my content from these drives for, um, from anywhere in the world as well. What else? Oh yeah, the VPN has logged me in from Matthew. Yeah. It works on both IPsec and PPTP. I think it's PPTP. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Alright, so basically this hard drive over here is my OS disk, Windows 8.1 Professional, as well as my music drive. So that's my music drive in OS, and then this one over here is my TV shows, only for TV shows. Yeah, so I got quite a bit. And that's my movie. So this one is 80 GB hard drive, this is a 320 GB. This is a 500 GB, yeah. So that you can see my 2 GB RAM stick. Let's just zoom in, I'll show you guys. Here's my RAM. Here's my CPU. How close do you want to go to my CPU? Oh, my CPU is underneath actually, yeah. Right, so here's my 350 focus, 350 watt power supply. <clears throat> this PC is basically always on. It turns off at like two o'clock in the morning, and boots up at seven o'clock. I use Task Scheduler to operate um, the Task. Yeah. So it's really silent. If you can hear it, I just show you what it sounds like every single second. Yeah, that's if you're close up. But seriously, I can't hear it. And over here at the back, oh crap, right, so at the back, just show you. Okay, so over here, I, this is my, got an ethernet cable going in, got a printer, got a home, not home hub, a USB splitter, USB hub, yeah. So, yeah, that's my ports, and obviously my hard drive plugs into the back, and comes out of there, yeah. And I'll show you downstairs uh, for my XPMC, Apple TV, jailbroken Apple TV, Raspberry Pi configuration, so see you in a shortcut. Right, so this is my home, my home theatre configuration. I'm using a jailbroken Apple TV as well as my Raspberry Pi. So basically this is what it looks like when my TV boots up I'm using a um, the Samsung HDMI CC and yet remote control. So I can focus as I can um, control my home theatre using this remote. So let me give you an example. I want to see it working. So now Oh, uh, let, let me just zoom in so I can show you. Right, so here's my videos, and I've got my pictures, and my pictures, videos, movies, TV shows. Yeah, so I've got shortcuts over here to I, BBC iPlay, iTV, YouTube, NaviX, and Phoenix. Yeah, and I'm using my Apple TV for the XBMC. Um, evidently and Razu Pi is the NAS configuration so if I want to watch my movies I go to movies and then it pops up with all my films they're actually all HD I don't know why it only says it for three days to kill so I got quite a bit so if I want to watch I don't know Clash of Titans uh, I really like the thumbnail that it shows and the, and the wallpaper at the background that's a really nice feature that XBMC 
added in. So as you can see it's working, shows in top left corner so it's, it's 1080p and just press back and then it goes back. Oh I can press stop. Should go back. Yes, brilliant. Okay, so that's working. If I want to test my movies, I can just turn the volume up. Not the movies, let me just test the music. I think you can hear it now. So I'll go to music. I got this one. This is some MM. Uh, I don't know. Anything. See, it's. And it's content that's coming from the HTPC. As you can see, it's working. As you can hear. Yep, so that's it. And I'll show you it's a Cody. Helix, I think it's Helix. Oh, no, it's Gotham actually. XBMC system configuration. So let me just show you the back of the TV and how it's all set up. So over here it's my power is really dirty, lol. Then over here, as you can see, my cable management is absolutely fantastic. PlayStation 3, HDMI, composite for the headset. Let me just move over. So here is my Raspberry Pi. Apple TV is there. And then got wires coming through there, this is my thing, so I got my, if it focuses, my PlayStation 3, HDMI, as well as my Ros the Apple TV, then Raspberry Pi is powered through the USB, I got VGA just in, just if I need it, over there is my, over here, can you see my cable management goes down, and then, can't really see any cables at the back, let me just, Put on the PlayStation, and then I'll show you how I can stream stuff from my PlayStation from the Plex thing from the Plex server. So user one, I don't know why I have that theme on. So I go to video. See, it's found at Plex Media Server HTTP, HTPC video. Movies or TV shows. Let's try a TV show this time. All shows. What do I want to watch? Some Brooklyn Nan Nan. Season. Yeah, I just watched some season one. See, you can see it's all working. Everything is there. Then I just, if I want to watch something. Wait. Yeah. yeah, okay, if I want to watch something Tactical Village, just turn it on, press X And then it should work Alright, so there we go It's working really nicely, music's working Go to the music All music, Eminem, Hail Mary. Okay, that's a bit too loud. Yeah, it's working. Right, so that's been my network tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Everything's going. Um, it's connected through Ethernet. Got hidden cables down below. Not gonna show you, but yeah. Um, yeah, so this has been my tour. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you watch every video, all the videos you like. And yeah, um, some companies have sent me some products to unbox, and they'll be in the next few videos. So make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Peace.
shakes everything 